Greetings fellow explorers of thought, and welcome to our philosophical journey. Today, we delve into the enigmatic realm of epigenetics, a landscape where biology, evolution and existentialism intersect. Through this exploration, we will traverse the intricate pathways of genetic expression, the secrets embedded within our DNA, and the profound philosophical implications they bear. This journey is not just about understanding the biological mechanisms that shape our existence, but about questioning our place in the universe, our identity, and our destiny. Are we but marionettes, our strings pulled by the puppet master of our genes, or are we co-authors of our own narrative? What if you were told that your lifestyle, your experiences, even your thoughts could influence not just your own biology, but that of your offspring as well? This is the central question that we grapple with today. It is a query that challenges our traditional understanding of inheritance and evolution, beckoning us to reconsider what we thought we knew about the self. At the heart of epigenetics lies a fundamental transformation in our understanding of the genetic blueprint. Traditionally, genes were considered immutable, their information passed down from generation to generation in an unchanging sequence. But epigenetics challenges this notion, revealing that our genes are not set in stone. Instead, they are influenced by our environment, our experiences, and even our emotions. This dynamic interplay, this dance between our genetic composition and our lived experiences, forms the cornerstone of our exploration today. Epigenetics suggests a profound reality. Our lives are not just written in our DNA, but also in the way our DNA is expressed. This expression is governed by epigenetic markers, molecular tags that attach themselves to our DNA and influence its activity. These markers can be influenced by a variety of factors, from diet and exercise to stress and trauma. Incredibly, these changes can be passed down through generations, a phenomenon known as transgenerational epigenetic inheritance. The implications of this are staggering. It suggests that we are not merely the products of our genes, but also of the experiences of our ancestors. It also challenges the conventional Darwinian model of evolution, suggesting a far more complex and nuanced process where our environment and our choices can directly influence our genetic legacy. The concept of epigenetics has been reflected upon by various thinkers and scientists throughout history. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, a French biologist of the early 19th century, proposed a theory of inheritance of acquired characteristics, which echoes the principles of epigenetics. More recently, Nessa Carey, a British biologist and author, has written extensively about the revolutionary impact of epigenetics, describing it as a game-changer in our understanding of genetics. Even the Dalai Lama, a spiritual and philosophical figure, has spoken about the implications of epigenetics. He suggests that it supports the Buddhist view of the interconnectedness of all beings, and the idea that our actions and experiences have consequences that ripple through generations. These voices from different domains and times converge on the transformative potential of epigenetics, suggesting a new paradigm of understanding life and evolution. The theme of epigenetics has found resonance in various forms of art and culture. The book, The Epigenetics Revolution, by Nessa Carey, explores the profound implications of this field on medicine, psychology, and life science. In music, artists like Bjork have incorporated themes of DNA and evolution in their work, reflecting on the dynamic and fluid nature of life. The film Gattaca, while not directly about epigenetics, delves into the philosophical implications of genetic determinism and the human spirit's resilience. In contemporary discussions, the concept of epigenetics has sparked debates around nature versus nurture, free will versus determinism, and individual responsibility versus societal impact. It challenges the boundaries of our understanding of life, evolution, and identity, forcing us to grapple with fundamental questions about who we are and how we are shaped. Are we just products of our genes, or do we have the power to influence our genetic destiny? To what extent does society and environment shape us, and how much of it can we control? 
The exploration of epigenetics holds immense significance in our contemporary world. It has the potential to revolutionize medicine, psychology, and socio-political structures. By understanding how our environment and experiences can shape our genes, we can better address issues like mental health, chronic diseases, and social inequality. The philosophical implications of epigenetics also compel us to rethink our relationship with ourselves, our ancestors, and our descendants. In our exploration of epigenetics, we have journeyed through the labyrinth of our DNA, unearthing secrets hidden in the fabric of our existence. We have discovered that we are not just passive recipients of genetic information, but active participants in its expression. The dance between our genes and our experiences is a dance of creation, a dance that shapes not just who we are, but who we might become. It is a dance that, in the words of the poet Rumi, takes us out of the world to find a place in the dance. Thank you for joining us on this philosophical exploration of epigenetics. Your curiosity and commitment to understanding these complex topics deepen the richness of our collective journey. As we conclude, we invite you to ponder on the following. How does the concept of epigenetics change your understanding of self? What implications might it have on how you live your life? How does it shape your perception of the past and the future? We eagerly anticipate our next philosophical journey together, where we will continue to unravel the mysteries of existence. Until then, remember, we are not mere spectators in the dance of life, but dancers ourselves shaping and being shaped by the rhythm of existence. Carry this thought with you, and let it inspire you to approach life with curiosity, courage, and a deep sense of interconnectedness.